I'd like to thank Ms. Brown um, for her courtesy and for that powerful statement. Um, I'd like to uh, ask Ms. Weiser that in, in the course of statehood admissions over uh, the development of American history, there have been 37 states admitted from the original 13. Um, are you familiar with the kinds of objections that were raised to certain states being admitted? It was said, for example, that Hawaii and Alaska were not contiguous, therefore they couldn't be admitted. Uh, Texas was a foreign country, therefore it couldn't be admitted. West Virginia used to be part of Virginia, therefore it couldn't be admitted, and so on. Are you familiar at all with that record of objections? Oh, I'm not very familiar, but I have read that. Well, um, the, today uh, it's said that Congress uh, doesn't have the authority to modify the boundaries of the District of Columbia, even though in 1846, Congress modified the boundaries of the District of Columbia in order to retrocede to Virginia, Alexandria, Arlington, and Fairfax County, when uh, Virginia slave masters were afraid that Congress was about to abolish the slave traffic in the District of Columbia, which in fact it did in the middle of the Civil War. So they were pressing about that, but it established the precedent that Congress has the authority to modify the boundaries of the District of Columbia. Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17 says Congress shall exercise exclusive legislation over that district to become the seat of government ceded by various states, not more than 10 miles square. It establishes a maximum area, but not any kind of minimum area uh, for the state. Would it be in the history of the enlargement of democracy and the treatment of all citizens equally to admit Washington as a state today? Absolutely. 